And let me tell you the truth. I studied medicine in a $50 million medical school building. That medical school building was built and I was the first class. My class was the first class to use that building. $50 million was spent, US dollars was spent on 400 medical students. There are 400 people in four classes, 100 per year in my medical school. I studied in that building with every luxury. There was a separate coffee shop for the medical students. There was a separate computer lab for the medical students. There were 25 classrooms for 400 medical students, each with the state-of-the-art projection system, sound dynamics, acoustics, everything to make you a perfect doctor. But let me tell you, the opposite extreme. When I went, I left medical school for a period of time. And when I left medical school and I went to study in the madrasa, were you to take a camera and you were to show people the picture of that place, you know how they say, if you give 10 cents, these people can eat for a week, and then they show you these pictures of the, how the place actually is? That's exactly how my madrasa was. It was in the middle of a jungle. There were scorpions. We used to get bit left and right. We used to sleep on the hard floor, and it used to be an oven. The sun would shine down on that clay, clay building, and it would cook us like we were in an oven. We would have our tongues hanging out, and we would be looking at one another in the dead heat. We wouldn't even be able to speak. In fact, I used to drink hot water, to tell you the truth. I used to have a bottle of water and it used to get hot because that whole room was such an oven that it would heat up that bottle of water. Yet, the pleasure that I experienced in studying in that madrasa for two and a half years was better than any pleasure that I've experienced anywhere in the world. I'm telling you, it was better than anything I've experienced in anywhere in the world. And I look back at those days and I just sit back and I say, SubhanAllah, would that I could be back in that situation. I mean, I have that experience that maybe other people don't have that I've sat on both ends of the extreme. And I'm telling you that the taste of the deen far outweighs any taste that you can ever experience from anything in this world. It just far outweighs. That closeness to Allah, that tear that runs down your, your, your face, that shiver that runs down your spine, is more than anything in the world, and were you to bring all the wealth of the world, you could not purchase that.